Scientists at Metairn say the climate here has got significantly warmer. They produced a new set of climate averages which will be used from now on for day-to-day -day weather comparisons. The data shows that average temperatures were up by half a degree. Well, let's stay with that because we're joined uh, here in studio by Metairn's head of forecasting, uh, Jerry Fleming. Jerry, thanks for coming to talk to us on the programme. So you've been looking at the data over the last 30-year period. Yes. And you found what? Well, first of all, we, we define our climate by 30-year averages. That's a standard measure across meteorology. And we had been working from a 30-year period from 61 to 1990. So that's a 30-year period which ended in 1990 is now over 20 years ago. So we've updated that to the most recent three decades, which is 1981 to 2010. And we found some interesting differences between those two 30-year periods. And bear in mind that they overlap mm -hmm. by one decade in the middle. We found that on average, the temperature has gone up by about half a degree doesn't sound like a lot, but over an average of a long-term average, that is quite considerable. We found some significant differences in rainfall, though that's much more variable because very heavy rain over a couple of years can actually change the statistics. If you remember, we had some three very wet summers in a row there just a few years ago, and they can influence statistics in certain parts of the country as against others, even over 30 years. Uh, and then seasonally, we've seen some interesting changes as well. Right. In relation to temperatures, this, you describe this, this half a degree as significant. Now, uh, uh, although I think most of us wouldn't be able to tell the difference uh, That's true, uh, in, yeah. in a half a degree uh, uh, rise in temperature. So why is it significant? This is because the weather is so variable. You know, we have a temperature of 12 degrees today, 14 degrees mm -hmm. tomorrow, or 10 degrees the day after. We say, what's well, half a degree? We have that sort of change all the time. But when you look at the long term and you add up all the highs and lows and so on, it becomes quite significant. And if you look, if you're going back in time to kind of glacial ages and that, the average temperature wasn't all that much lower than it is today. And if you look at the climate change projections for the end of this century, they're not that much higher, about two or three degrees. So these percentages of degree are significant when you look at over that very, very long period. Now, of course, you're, you're working with records that at most go back 150 years. So yes. this just could be part of a cycle that stretches over very many hundreds of years, thousands of years. Even. And this is something that we have to try and understand, and the figures help us to understand that. When people, first of all, thought of having a 30-year average of climate, they thought that we'd, we'll just have to do it once, we'll never have to do it again. Climate is climate, it never changes. But we now understand that it does change. It has always changed. What we have to try and do with these statistics and other types of indicators uh, particularly with climate change scenarios, is try and extract which bit of the change is natural and which bit of it might be because of some human-induced activities. And that's a whole other challenge, of course. Right. And in terms of, of weather patterns across the country, um, you know, wh where are the wettest places and where are the driest places and where are the hottest places and where are the coldest places? The wettest part of the country is, or the, wet, the west is wetter than the east because mm -hmm. of our prevailing winds, and the higher up you go in terms of altitude, the wetter you'll get. So looking at that, the wettest large town in Ireland is probably Killarney, but anywhere up along that west coast, up through into Clare Morris and Galway, are fairly wet by comparison with the east. Sunniest, if you look at a strip down along the east coast and across the south, it's quite sunny, but Wexford stands out as being sunnier. But there's a big difference in sunshine, even between, say, Wexford and Ross mm -hmm. so small distances can give you a big difference. Warmest is actually much the same place as is wettest, Galway, Clare, Limerick, down into Kerry. These are, in mean terms, the warmest mm -hmm. parts of the country, but primarily because of uh, mild winters rather than very hot summers. And I uh, didn't give you any warning of this, but what kind of a summer do you think we might expect? I wish I knew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jerry Fleming, kicking to touch on that one. Thanks indeed uh, for talking to us, Jerry. Thank you.